Welcome and today we'll be making some super soft mahamris which will remain soft even after two days and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell. The ingredients that I'll be using 500 grams of flour, cooking oil, 25 grams of sugar which is about uh, three quarter cup, seven grams of yeast, one teaspoon of cardamom, I have extra coconut milk here and then over here I have one cup of milk and one cup of coconut milk. If you choose to use just plain coconut milk, please go ahead. I just added uh, whole milk because I just love the wholeness from milk. And if you don't have coconut milk or you just want to have your mahamris from milk, then just use plain milk. Anyway, let's get started. Damon. followed by your dried yeast then about a little bit of oil about two tablespoons and just mix that up Now I'll be working on my dry ingredients. I'll add in my sugar. Mm. Just mix that up. This is the point where I'll be adding in my wet mixture bit by bit and mixing it with the flour. Later I proceeded to knead the dough with my hands as it was getting too heavy for the wooden stick. Now I'm still kneading it on my surface, you can see how soft it is and not sticking in my hands and at this point I will put it in my bowl which first I will brush a little bit of oil just to make sure that when the dough rises it doesn't stick on the bowl and then set your dough in a dark place and let it rise for an hour. You can cover your dough with a kitchen towel as well, wet kitchen towel. Here's the dough, you can see it has risen double in size and now just proceed to get it off your bowl. Roll it vertically with your hands and ensure that it's the same size. Now proceed to cut your dough into your desired sizes. I did mine in six and then I will form small balls with the dough that I've cut just to prepare them for now the final rolling. I will then cover them and let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. This will make them even softer. Now let's get into rolling the dough. Then cut it into four equal sizes. and into your medium high 
oil place your doughs and fry them now a quick tip here once your dough starts to rise or uh, the mahamris flip them over but make sure that you keep pouring oil on top as you see me doing here and just keep flipping them over because you don't want them to rise too high and break And once ready, set it aside. Now you'll notice that this Mahamri has a white stripe. If you like your Mahamri with the white stripe or the white line, you place your Mahamri in your oil. Do not flip it around. Do not move it around in your oil until it rises and it's cooked on the downside. Then flip it and let the other side cook as well without flipping it around or moving it around. Then you'll realize that the downside is cooked and the upper side is cooked and then the line remains in the middle personally i like my mahamri's golden brown all round so if you like that that is how you do it Now here is the end result of our Mahamris. You can see how beautiful it looks, golden brown. And of course, I have to put them to the ultimate test and show you guys, are they really soft? And there you have it. You can see how easy it tears apart. It's very, very soft, even on the inside. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you never miss any new uploads.